the genie of the courier ship, the Red Moon. Cam the segment, courier of the circuit, 61. Recording. To the beloved Captain Farouk, may the mercy of the icons ever be in your favor. The Red Moon, docked on the line cruiser Gasali, is in transit through the Hamura system, on course for the Tawan system. For security reasons, all crew members of the Red Moon will put a heart to sleep on the flagship. Optimistically. This recording will serve as restatement for your stasis amnesia. I used all the baseline words that you gave me. Hope your memory training is up to speed, Captain. This is the genie of the courier ship, the Red Moon, signing off. Security code four six five one three Omega Captain's Log Pulsing red lights, beating of my own heart, irregular hum of engines. Never before had I experienced stasis sickness as the one I had. My entire body ached. A strange coppery taste. Shadows moving about in the dark room. Pig sat on the pod, looking just as unfocused and disoriented as Carlo. Assessing our situation, moving about the silent rows of stasis pods filled with dead people. Unsettling, dark, abandoned corridors. Something terribly amiss. The foul smell of something organic. Nekatra, foul, vicious beast. Finally made contact with the ship's computer. A ship called the Gazelle. Hollow ripped apart by a terrible wrenching sound. Struggling for air, safety, something to grip onto. This is Red Moon Roleplaying. The hole cracks. And you feel that the air is pouring out and the cracks widens vast. And you are being dragged towards outer space. I immediately tense, look to the nearest exit, and then what do I see? Like, I, I kind of buckle down to the uh, panel if I can, with my hands. You see that emergency doors in front of you, it starts to go down and the uh, sirens starting to uh, make some noise as well as uh, orange lights when the security door is closing at the other end and uh, 10 meters in back of you the, the other security door is starting to lower and you're feeling that you are being dragged the, the compression that starts to drag all the loose things in the ship towards outer space. Would there be enough time for us to try to bolt for the door? Yeah, you have to make a dexterity roll. Yeah. Uh, I just shout out the door and I start trying to run for it. Yeah. I, I start running as well. I blink and roll to run as well. Two sixes. I got one six. Yeah, me too. Yeah, and you're you're running towards the door, and it's starting to lower. But uh, you are quite lucky, and you're just passing through the door when it slams, and then you hear the whole session is <laughs> spread open. I look at them wide-eyed. Something is tearing the ship apart. There's something. There's something out there. Pig, calm down. There's nothing out there. Clearly the ship's been damaged and the hull is starting to, I don't know, come apart like these big ships do. No, you don't understand. Something is, something is, something is... What do you mean, something? I don't know. I hear something. It's something moving in the ship. Why are we here? What, what is this? We gotta hurry. Come on. Okay. I, 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 I look begging at Carlo to move down the corridor. 
I frown and start moving down the corridor. I take a moment to catch my breath. Why the hell am I here? And most importantly, who put me here? I'm thinking in my mind, I swear, if this is someone back on Kua. And I look at my security tablet now, kind of seeing if I can now, it's on my tablet, look at some of that data I managed to get from the terminal. Yeah, um, you did download some of the data, but you had to uh, abort, so it's quite damaged. But you can, uh, if you have a sit down and uh, go through it, you maybe can extract something of it. But uh, the question is, do you, do you want to stay here to do that? No. I frown a little, giving the security tablet a little tap against the wall. I need to upgrade. I just put it back in my coat, pull it round me, and I, again, stalk forwards. Yeah, you feel a quake again. <laughs> it feels like, uh, like Pink said, it's something that's tearing the ship apart. But uh, Carlo, you are a man of science. And you know that maybe it's just some ionic storm or something outside. Hmm. Hmm. At this point, am I getting any better idea of where we even are on the ship? Yeah. You're probably quite close to the docking bay or uh, at the stasis pod room. That should be, if it's a big ship, it's on B, it should be on the lower side of the ship. I remarked to Farouk. Captain, I'm not entirely sure we're going to be able to find the command floor anytime soon, but we might actually be near the docking bays, I think. It could be worth checking. I kind of jerk at when you start speaking to me, because I I seem to have been lost in prayer or something, trying to ward off the darkness from outside, and I'm like, yeah, uh, you mean... Uh, a ship, yeah? Yes, Captain, a ship. Oh, of course, yeah. I think that's probably the safest thing right now. If nothing else, we need to find some kind of uh, exosuits or something. Hmm. Hmm. If it's something tearing at the ship. Are you sure about that, pig? Don't you hear it now? I'm not sure what I hear. Icons have mercy. Let, let's let's move. Yeah, and uh, your pace is quickening, and you're moving um, back. You backtrack, and you're going past the urine stains, and uh, you follow the corridor. A couple of minutes later, you're feeling that you're going upwards upwards in the ship and you're feeling quite relieved for a moment then you enter a four crossing hmm. paths on four different ways and here there is a slaughter you see limbs human limbs you see carcasses you see blood I, uh, I stop and I, uh, uh, it, 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 it must have been one of them, uh, or how many, I, I'm trying to see for signs, if, is, is, can I figure out if there were one or more, of, of one or more Nicatras? You see, um, at least four human bodies that's been, um, slain and desolated by some kind of beast and you're pretty sure that it is a Nekatra or maybe more than one Nekatra. They hunt in packs as you remember. Uh, I, uh, why would someone keep something like this on a ship? Maybe it's some sort of, if they try to take us as slaves, I, I start to mumble to myself. I kind of have to hold back a bit of a gut reaction to vomit here, but I try and steal it. I was trained. I was trained to accept things like this, a little anyway. Um, and I kind of move forward, and I'm trying to see 
the bodies? Is there anything that could be of use? Is it just flesh and cloth? Do they have some tools? Weapons, maybe? The stink is unbearable. When you're looking through the bodies, you see a communicator, a level one communicator that's uh, still attached to a left arm, but the left arm isn't attached to any body. If you're going to search through the area, I want you to roll a strength roll. Or uh, if you have survival, you can use that as a boost. I will not have that, so I will very briefly sift through the area. And I pretty much get to the first major body, try and lift it a little, and then just slump it down. I got no sixes. Yeah, you're feeling sick. Hmm. You're feeling sick and you feel warm. Your head is aching even more. I uh, see him going up to it and looking over the... I see the uh, arm with the uh, communicator. I, I uh, try to calm myself. This wouldn't be a problem seeing dead bodies. I've seen dead bodies before. I've been... I've been handling them before, it's just knowing that now we're we're like sitting ducks. We're easy prey for whatever is in here. It makes me uncomfortable. I, I try to help him and, and look for anything else that could help us. I'm not stepping anywhere close to that mess and I'm instinctively trying to find my perfumed little handkerchief that I always keep, you know, tucked in my clothes but of course I can't find it so I just try my best to cover up my mouth and my nose with my hand instead yeah you feel the stench and not only the stench of blood and guts you feel the the stench of urine of the nicotra I, I try to I look at the uh, carnage and, I, and then I Okay, uh, I, I stand up from it and I, I look around. Is there any indication of, of which way they might have headed uh, after this? Yeah, you can uh, roll a survival. One, six. It looks like they have been heading uh, the corridor at your right. Huh. And it looks like it's going upwards in the ship. Uh, there are three more corridors and uh, two of them is going upwards as well but one is going upwards at the opposite side of the one that the Nakatra has went through. We're wasting time, let's just move on. Yeah, anywhere but that way I say and point. I nod and we'll start heading the way he doesn't point. You coming captain? Yeah, yes, yes of course. Uh, One would pray that at least they're not hungry now and on the hunt for fresh meat. I, I follow quickly. Yes. And you're starting to uh, move upwards and you, you realize that uh, the surroundings is changing a bit. You are passing through a an, uh, an wide open mechanical door and it looks like you have left the more um, stasis pod space and uh, you are getting into bigger uh, larger corridors that you can maybe drive through with some sort of exo or a small vehicle of sort Um, You know that this should take you quite close to um, the garage of the exosuits and the uh, grab bikes and uh, the other uh, equipment for uh, maybe establishing colonies or uh, exploration, that kind of labor. Mm. I kind of pause again. I looked to Farouk and remark, Well, keep going. Yeah, keep going. Yeah? You keep going? 
you get to a T crossing and um, the light is still very reddish but you can see that a white quite bright light is starting to uh, lit every 10 meter in the corridor hmm. and uh, Carlo what you get out of this is that maybe the rebooting sequence is going to uh, be ready in a couple of minutes or maybe a, a half an hour. You're, you're not sure. Well, maybe when that happens, there'll be some order on this ship. What a piece of junk, I think to myself. I call out, Captain, looks like a power might be rebooting shortly. Might be a good thing. Th that's, that's good, yeah? I'd hope so. At least we might not have to worry about the ship exploding. Maybe the shielding will kick in or something. Yeah. Pressure will come back on, I don't know. And the better lights, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, definitely better lights. Yeah, but all the systems... I don't get it. Why are there so many corridors? Why aren't there any rooms? If I had to guess, I'd say, isn't this one of those ships that carries mass cargo or something? It's the sort of design that comes to my mind. What do you think, Captain? I think if there's anyone that knows ships, it's probably you guys. Um, I basically just travel with them. Well, if this is a sort of slave ship like you thought, maybe they carry exotic stuff as well, and that's why they got these animals. It, it could be some sort of flying circus, but also selling slaves, it's, yeah, some sort of radar yeah, ship, yeah. but it's big, Corsairs. Exotic pets and, and slaves or something. Oh, this is, this is unnerving. Uh, we, we, we need to press on, I, I believe. Uh, uh, the less time we spend standing still is probably better. Yeah, this big corridor should take us to the, well, maybe some sort of uh, hangar or something. Maybe we can get to a shuttle. I nod and once again skulk forward. Yeah, you're starting to pass through this big corridor and um, after a couple of um, minutes you enter a big hangar but it's not a hangar for ships it's a hangar for uh, stripped land vehicles looks like uh, APC carriers and uh, some rescue mission equipment as well as uh, a lot of big crates. I uh, run over to one of the crates and start looking in and see if there's anything in there, see if we can find a weapon of some sort. Yeah, you take some time and you can roll an observation. Uh, I get nothing, but I'm... Yeah, you look through and... Um, when you're looking through, you see that a lot of these vehicles are stripped. When you arrive at uh, the um, colony or whatever you are getting to, they should be assembled. Uh, but you also find that uh, there's a lot of uh, mixed materials. So it's not a corporate mission that has all these um, made materials for one colony you can find uh, some tools that are really old some um, mechanical parts that are quite new it's a uh, seems like this mission was put together in a haste huh. it's, it's quite odd it looks like someone is getting ready to colonize something but I don't know this doesn't make any sense all this I mean, nothing's uniform, nothing's... Clearly it's not a company that did this, or... Someone has just thrown stuff together and tried to... Ah... I 
throw some things around me like this is useless. Hmm. I move over to a crate and start rummaging around in it myself. Yeah. And I would like, if it's all right, to use for this session the talent of the faceless. I'm hoping, as often in my life, that maybe I'll get lucky and just find something. Something that just helps. I'm not sure what it will be, but anything would do. Yeah? Yes, so I'd like to use that. You you tell me what I find. <laughs> yeah? You go through a crate and you find uh, a plasma cutter. Hmm. And you feel that that could come quite in handy if you're going to cut through a door or uh, maybe seal a door and uh, or even worst case of a little bit of defense yes of course uh, it got five cells so um, five uses more or less hey so if you're going to seal a door with one one cell if you're going to open a door it goes one cell I look up and I see Carlo holding that, and I and I walk over towards him, uh, uh, pointing with my my arms. That's a good. That's good. Yeah, we can we can use that. Yeah, this isn't bad. This isn't bad. What do you say? Maybe, maybe you should have this. Yeah, yeah, I'll take that, and I and I take it, and I uh, put it in my belt. No other things to use as like a club or anything. Just to keep something in the hands, to just feel a bit more secure. Yeah, uh, if you're looking through and looking for weapons, uh, you can find some um, wrenches. You can find uh, steel pipes. Um, you can also find some mostly primitive weapon like clubs. Maybe uh, a Dura drill, but it's not so handy for <laughs> elegant combat but still if you put it in someone's stomach it it will hurt i'll try the weight of uh, a steel pipe to see if it's like nice uh, in my hand and try i swing it a few times just to get a feel for it oh. yeah um do Anyone have technology? Mm, yeah. Yeah? Uh, you don't have to roll. Uh, you can say that a lot of this equipment is made for uh, building a mining colony of sort. Hmm. Hmm. I look at the Dura drill that uh, she found and, uh, yeah, I uh, nod towards it and I say, prospectors, I'd say. Maybe a mining colony. I huff and say, fascinating. Now, I suppose there's nothing else here. I guess we'll have to continue. I, I shrug and I uh, follow Farouk's example of picking up something as, you know, last offense. I'll take a wrench. Mm hmm. You uh, have um, put someone. Uh, equipment on you. You have uh, armed yourself with steel pipes and dura drills and plasma cutters, mm. and you're starting to leave the hangar and at the opposite side that you entered it. Uh, Farouk, you're feeling really, really dizzy. You've, you're sweating, and you're feeling that you're about to throw up. Once again, I try to find my handkerchief, but realize that I'm still not there, and I've. Uh, isn't it hot in here, boys? Um, um, don't feel so well. This... Mm. I squint towards him and uh, I say, Yeah, you look bad. And I walk over to examine him. Yeah, uh, you can see that uh, he has uh, some uh, red mark on uh, his forehead and as well as some blemish looks like. Uh, a cut maybe on his hand but you you can't remember uh, when the captain cut himself uh, if he cut himself did you hurt yourself just now uh, what 
no, I'm, I just feel like I'm, well, if I've had something to eat, it would probably find its way up again by now. No. Yeah. It's, it's, uh, we need to get you to a med lab. What? Yeah, you're probably suffering from radiation damage. That's the only thing that makes sense. It's pretty bad. Can you move? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I believe so. Yeah. Uh, let's uh, let's start. Uh, is there any way out of here? Yeah, you see uh, a quite large um, mechanical door that leaves this area. You also see that uh, at one end of uh, the ship hull. It could be a ducking bay and an airlock. So you can probably go through there if you want to as well. And you go out on the ship with exosuits. Do we have suits here in the hangar? Should be some suits in the airlock. Yeah. It should be. Okay. Uh, uh, well, 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 what do you say? We can go on the outside or try to keep making way on the inside well I don't know pick you tell me outside I suppose there wouldn't be any friends but there'd be space in here safer but we have friends uh, uh, how's radiation outside is is, is that safer mm. I, I've never really Bit outside. And that depends on what we're near. If we're, we're, I don't know, if we're near some sort of star or anything, there could be severe radiation outside as well. Um, maybe we should stick to the inside for now then. Yes, that might be wise. I've had some training, you know, um, when I was learning pilot stuff. Uh, but might be wiser to keep going inside for now. I don't see a reason to leave the ship just yet. At least not that way. But maybe we maybe we should find exosuits in case another hull breach. Yeah, well, I, f I would feel safer in an exosuit. It'd be a bit clumsy, but yeah. Yeah, exactly, but it's still if something like that happens again Again, I, I mm. gesture over my shoulder towards where we came from. It, I would feel a bit safer. <laughs> Noted. And I begin moving towards the airlock, saying, I'm pretty sure there should be some exosuits in the airlock. There normally are. Yeah, yeah. I try to walk, but I get a bit shaky in my legs, so I kind of stretch out and place a hand on who's ever closest to to steady myself I'm 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 gonna be okay okay yeah 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 just uh, uh, try to hang on yeah no 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 it's okay you moving towards the airlock and uh, it's next to a big hangar door it's a docking bay of sort it could take uh, a smaller class vessel, maybe a, a four or a three type ship could dock to this bay to unload and unload the, um, the equipment. At the left side of the hangar door there's an airlock and it seems untouched. Do you open it? Yes. Um, you look in and the, the big steel door is uh, opening you see five suits exosuits they seem quite old maybe at least 15 or 20 years old and you see the other uh, the other door the other side of the airlock. No windows, of course. Hmm. And I uh, move in and I immediately make my way towards one of them, eagerly getting into it. Yeah. And I attach the, uh, the torch 
to the outside of it. Yeah, there's no problem to do that. You also see some um, spare parts here, uh, mechanical spare parts in the airlock. Oh, that's good. Can I pick up some of those? Yeah, there are two, two ordinary spare parts. Are those small or the normal? Um, they're quite heavy uh, and they're made for fixing uh, fixing hull breaches or uh, or hull panels so uh, they are quite useful when they're used uh, together with the plasma color yeah okay uh, you also find uh, five emergency flares mm. Do the, the the suits do they all seem to function properly? Uh, do you take time to uh, go through them? Yeah, because Farouk has never been on the outside of a ship, okay. so he is quite nervous right now and pretty well wants to make sure that everything's working properly. Um. Have you used an exosuit before? Uh, probably not, no. Well, there was that one time, but it was kind of in a, another situation altogether. No, you can roll a, a, a wits roll, sorry. Wits, yeah. I'll roll wits to see if I can figure this one out. You can have a minus one. No, no, I have no clue what I'm looking at. It looks fine. Yeah. You really like this suit. Yeah. I, I start to, you know, put it on. Yeah? I will go and put mine on quickly. I am no expert, but of course I would have been given a basic training in exosuits. I'm expected to be in space sometime, so I would think I know what I'm doing. Uh, does everything seem okay with me? Yeah. Uh, it's, it's an old suit. But um, you don't think it's been used? It's just been in uh, some storage unit for a long, long time. It's got a bad, uh, some bad science choices. So you, hmm. when you do uh, maneuvers in space, you will get some penalty. But uh, that's about it. Hmm. Very well, Captain. You all right over there? Uh, I, I do believe I am, but is this supposed to go here? No. Oh, oh, no. Okay, sorry. Um, where do I put it then? I shake my head and kind of go over to assist. I struggle a little bit in getting into the exosuit, as it's not really accommodating for my four arms. Uh, but uh, I have a small frame, so I try to squeeze in two of my arms along the side. Uh, some situation, I imagine you been using a corset. Yeah. Yeah, so um, uh, you can, uh, you know how to put your uh, your extra pair of arms, uh, maybe jank them in, um, in some uh, quite painful uh, angle, but you get them into the suit. You feel that you're you're not so uh, agile as you were a couple of seconds ago, but you can you can use it. Yeah. But somehow I still feel a bit safer. Yeah, it's it's preferable um, uh, yeah. if you compare with a Nekatra bite or a Nekatra cut to have a, a spacesuit between them and you. Hmm. I look over to Pig briefly to make sure they fine. I nod because I thought they would know what they were doing. I go, good work pig. Alright. Captain, shall we continue? At least now we have some defense. Yeah. Uh, it, it's not much, but I do feel a, a little safer. Um, towards some kind of command bridge or I think that would be ideal, yes. You um, leave the airlock and go for the um, another pathway. 
that's going upwards in the ship and um, you open the the main double door and you open it with a mechanical lock and then you realize that the reboot sequence must be quite ready because you haven't been able to use mechanical locks before you have pushed doors opened so um, a, a terminal by now should be uh, be functioning there's a car door and you see uh, doors at the side of the walls and uh, uh, maybe 20-25 meters you see a T crossing and a terminal that flickers wonderful I say aloud as I quickly move over to this new terminal and see if I can access it yeah it, it doesn't look damaged and uh, you can see that this one has been upgraded it's not the newest technology but it's maybe a couple of years old it doesn't have a uh, dashboard and it's voice command well that won't be too much trouble and I look for a way to connect my security tablet okay uh, do you have data gene yes yes you can roll a normal roll uh, move up to the side looking down the uh, corridors One, six. Yeah, you access the terminal and uh, it, it's starting to, the reboot sequence is ready and uh, before you it materialize a hologram of an old man with a stylish turban and a long kaftan. Uh, it's, uh, the hologram is bluish and transparent. And it bows to you and say, Hello, Salah. My name is Suleiman. What can I help you with? I pause for a moment. I look to the captain. And then I remark, How do you know my name? I don't. Did I tell you your name? My name is Carlo Salah. Ah, yes, I know your name. You're in the ship manifest, aren't you? Yes. You realize that something is wrong. You realize that the mainframe must be damaged. You realize that the AI is at two places at the same time. Maybe rebooting in a sequence maybe here so um, you have to go gentle on this one all right mm. captain I think the onboard AI is probably not with us I'm assuming this is the AI yes it has to be captain maybe you should ask some questions um, I step forward does the AI acknowledge me in any way or does it just, you know, stare into the distance? It acknowledges all of you. Uh, Suleiman? Ah, Ayabur. Welcome. It's a pleasure to see you. Yes. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, could you give us a rundown of, on the situation, please? You don't, don't have access to that information, information Alibur. I'm, I'm sorry. Um, well, the situation is not quite as it's supposed to be, and I think normal safety protocols are not applicable at the moment. As it seems, we are the only ones alive on the ship at the moment. Is there any way you could surpass this uh, access? That access is denied for you, Alibur. My mission is now to direct you to the escape pods. And where will they be? I can lit up a path for you. And um, 
you see that holographic strains are pouring through the floor and are making its way through the corridor and takes a left. This, this is, is the way, way to the, the escape house. I the alarm started two hours ago. I eagerly nudged the others a bit and decided to, you know, start following it. Um, is there any m- medical supply or, or, or bay or s- something nearby from here? Gasalis has a med bay. Are you hurt? We're suffering from radiation poisoning. Then it's imminent that you move to the med bay. Hmm. At this point, I very subtly just start pressing a few buttons on the tablet. I'm curious if we can get past this whole lack of clearance business. Uh, yes, then you have to do a uh, data gene. You see a couple of firewalls. You see a high class firewall that has been installed a couple of weeks ago, maybe just a week ago. It's high security class. And then there's a normal firewall that has been installed 10 cycles ago. Hmm. Hmm. Possibly better to start simple. I'll go for the first firewall, the more simple one. Yes. Just roll a straight data gen test? Yeah. With the security tablet, it's the normal roll. Yes. And as I'm sort of dabbling away, I kind of see a bit of resistance. And I kind of just sort of, again, take a moment to think. Think to the faceless one. It's always looked out for me. I think. And I will re-roll. Yes. And I get one six. You, um, you break through the first firewall. And uh, what do you want to ask? As soon as I do this, I go, remind us again, why are we on this ship? You are on a rescue mission to the Hamura system. You were all enrolled at the Coriolis station and went with the cruiser Gasali that was taken by the consortium to make a rescue operation at the Hamura system. I just... Your ship is docked on the far side of the Gasali. And at this point I assume that this ship is... Yes, this is the Gasali. Our ship. Well, Captain. It said our ship. Yeah. Our ship is docked to the Gasali. Yes. Then that's where we're heading. Yes. What do you say, Captain? Do you remember signing us up for a rescue mission? I strain, really, really strain to see if I can remember anything about this. You have a small memory of signing some papers with the consortium of some kind of rescue mission of a mining colony in the Hamura system or was it some other system? You don't really recall. It's... it is plausible. It... I do remember signing up for something and it was a rescue mission but not entirely sure where to. I hope we were getting paid well rescue mission. I click my teeth and I put the security tablet away and look to the others. Do we have a bearing on our ship? Do we know where it is? Hopefully near the escape pods. Actually, I turn to the AI. Is this way the way to our ship or the escape pods or are they in the same area? Your Your ship ship is not close close to the escape pods. Your Your ship is on the far side of the Vasari. Well then direct us there. 
Mm. We, we cannot, cannot move through your ship through the Gasali. The Gasali has been badly damaged. Well, what is the situation outside the ship? We are drifting. We are drifting closer and closer to the star. Mm. Uh, the escape pods are they maneuverable? Can we can we get one and then take that flying towards our ship? My data tells me that some of the escape pods are maneuverable to your ship. Yes. Let's do that. Yes. Mm, wonderful. Thank you. And let's follow the signs. Get to our ship. You can start flying while I attend to the med med bay. Sure thing. And I move along with the others. We probably all need to go through med bay sooner or later. Oh, my head is killing me. Yeah. You are the first one to reboot the system. You are the first one that are talking to me. Shall I light up all the directions in the and as well to the escape pods? Mm. Uh, I try to examine her. Does she need immediate sort of uh, counter radiative measures, or, or can we get to our ship first and then I'll attend to her in our own med bay? You don't really know how big this ship is. Yeah. So you don't really know how long it will take to go to the uh, escape pods. So as soon as possible. Yeah. Okay then. Yeah. Well, maybe we ought to get to the uh, get you to the med bay first. Just get something. We don't even know how long that will take us. Isn't it better to go for the ship? <sighs> it's your call, Captain. I look at Carlo. Haven't we got something on the ship for this sort of thing? At least uh, some medication or something, pig? What, on our own ship? Yeah, isn't that the sort of thing you carry around? Radiation, back to space? <laughs> well, of course. We got, in our med bay is equipped for it. Well, there you go then. Maybe it's better we... Well, let's just go with the situation as we go. One more thing. And I turn to the AI. Yes. Can you detect any life forms on board that aren't, well, supposed to be here, or human? My census indicates that 47 life forms are on the ship. I cannot indicate if they are humans or if they are something else. Are they alive? Yes, they are alive. 47? Could you perhaps make it slightly harder for them to get to our position in the uh, escape area? At least until we're gone. You don't have clearance for that. I'm sorry. Sorry. You don't have clearance for that. You're sorry. I can tell you that from start there were around 300 life forms leaving the Coriol station with the Gasol. Oh, this has been a good rescue mission. A rescue mission. I wonder what happened. What went wrong? Do you know that computer? I can tell you that something hit the Gasali when we were passing through the portal of the Hamburger system. Something hit. Hmm. Like an asteroid? You don't have clearance for that information. This is useless. Come on, let's let's move to the escape pods. Yeah, quickly. I almost have to fight back the urge to hack this guy a little more because I really don't like hearing those words, but they're right, they're right. I nod and I go, all right, Captain, let's go. Fine, off we go. Uh, just to make uh, something clear, did you lit up the way to the med lab as well? Yes. Yeah. Why not? Yeah. So then you have the the way to um, the escape pod and as well to the med lab. Okay. Uh, and where are you heading? You see that uh, the bright yellow is for the med lab, and it go in different directions. Well, I admit, 
Medlabs are important, but I think it might be wise to at least be in a position to get the ship ready, Captain. Yes, uh, escape pods, for sure. Hmm. Should we do something about the other 47 aboard? Keep in mind, Captain, that I'm pretty sure of those 47. Willing to bet five, maybe even ten, are not going to be very friendly and be on four legs and try and eat us. And with very sharp claws, indeed, yes. No, let's go. Uh, do someone has culture? Yes, I do. You can roll if you want to have some information about the Hamura system, for example. Yes. Two sixes. Great. Uh, you know that the Hamura system is a real backwater system. There's not a lot of mining colonists in here. And you know it's more of a passing through system. So the final destination for Gasale was probably not Hamura. What, what puzzles me, crew, is that who in the Third Horizons would ever set up a mining colony in Hamura? There is basically nothing of value here. Hmm. Maybe if someone finds something new. Not to mention, what's the consortium doing hiring the people like us for a rescue mission? The Legion busy? Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure what we, hmm. what part we were supposed to play in all this. I'm not even sure if Hamura was our destination. Oh. It might just have been something gone wrong on the way to somewhere else. Or oh, you think we were just passing by through... Uh... Uh, it's not impossible. As I said, there's not much here in Hamura's system, if if that's really where we are. I mean, everything else is screwing on this ship, so... Clonk, clonk. <gasps> ah! You hear something up in the corner. Over here! I can hear something! I can see something! You have listened to an episode of Red Moon Roleplaying, where we play the adventure Last Journey of the Ghazali for Coriolis. Game Master was Adam Palmquist, and we were also joined by Jenny Brienberg. Last Journey of the Ghazali was designed by Matthias Lilia and Christian Granat, and Coriolis is published by Free League. The music was created by Alpha Zone and Sabled Sun and used with permission from their label Cryo Chamber. Please check out cryochamber.bandcamp.com for more of their lovely dark ambient. We also use the official Coriolis soundtrack by Stars on a Black Sea. The sound effects come from the Sirenscape Sci-Fi Player, with permission from Sirenscape. With its ease of use, you might want to try it for your gaming table. Finally, a big thank you to all supporters who are making this campaign possible. These first three episodes of our adventures with Adam and Jenny will be completely free, so if you like them and want to continue the journey with us, come join our Patreons at the $3 level. New episodes will be released every two weeks. The icons watch over your travels. See you soon on the Third Horizon.